From VTV Channel 6 Studios in downtown Vernal, this is Local Point with your host, Chris Piner. Welcome to Local Point, brought to you by Strata Networks. I'm your host, Chris Piner. Joining me in the studio, we have Justin Osmond and Robin O'Driscoll, and it's great to have you both here. Thank you for having us. Well, it's my pleasure. Justin, you've been here before, too. Robin, I think you've been on the show before as I well, have. haven't you? Yes. Both are, are, are familiar to our studio. Well, what's going on today? Well, I'm actually Donnie, and this is Marie. <laughs> <laughs> they would kidding. believe you as Donnie. Yeah. I don't think I could pull off Marie. Yeah, no, a little bit country, you. aren't you? Yeah, he's a, little bit, he's a little bit country and I'm a little bit rock and roll, so we, we, we fit it right works. in. Perfect. <laughs> it's I good to be it. here, Chris, yes. Well, it's so good, and I've seen banners up again for the run, so I assume that we're going to talk a little bit about that. Absolutely, and you know, Robin has been a, a wonderful friend and a wonderful partner for this event. Uh, as we know, the, uh, the Uinta Community Center, uh, state-of-the-art uh, location, we were there last year, and they went overboard for us, and they, they, they were just, the accommodation, the hospitality was just incredible, so wonderful, and uh, we're like, you know what? Very Let, good. Let, let's do it again. Yes, yeah. let's do it every year. All right, every year. And, and we had, uh, just for the first year, we had about over 200 runners, which is not bad for a first year. And that that was very overwhelming, like, wow, for, from the Eisman family in a small town to have that many runners for a first year. Right. And we're like, you know what, let's do it again. And the more people we can get there, the more children in, in the area we can help with the gift of hearing. Right. Now this is called Hear Us Roar. The local one is, and I think that's just a, a brilliant, a brilliant title. And you've got a little dinosaur running in there as well. <laughs> well, now last, when, first of all, when is the run? It's Saturday, May 4th, and the 5K begins at 9 a.m., and then the children's run begins at 10.30. And just so that people know, you don't have to run. You can sign up to walk. Oh, that's good. That's a good clarification. We call it a run, but it's uh, it's the distance, right? Go the distance. That's right. Yes. And my, my dad, uh, Merrill, he uh, actually uh, excused himself, and he actually took a, a motorcycle. Uh, so people can run and walk, and yes, even one guy even took a motorcycle. Even took a motorcycle. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I think I remember seeing some photos of that from the last run. Well, uh, so to, to get involved, there's going to be a fee? So what is the, there must be an entry fee. How does that all there work, is a, Robin? I'm it, not sure how much it is. It's okay. It's a $25 okay. fee. Right. And you can go online to runforhearing.com. And the registration is open right now. So people can start registering. And, uh, With a credit card then, just a, qu a, a credit card and you can pay for the fee. Yep, credit card. Oh, you can also go, actually go to the community center, go to their website as well. And, uh, but yeah, $25. But uh, keep in mind, that the, that the money that we're raising here is, is actually benefiting the Olive Eisman Hearing Fund, That's which right. then goes to helping local children right here in the Uinta Basin. In fact, Chris, we're so excited because we've already uh, gathered enough community support already. We are able to already help one little boy. Um, his name is Philip. He's about 20 years old. He's actually from Roosevelt. And he just got his hearing aids not too long ago. There was a great story put out there. And, and we're actually uh, visiting with another recipient because we're, we're finding out that we're raising so much good support, um, monetary and in-kind, that they we're hoping to maybe help a couple more kids right here. Again, I'm, I'm just overwhelmed by the generosity of this wonderful town here in the Uinta Basin. I was just going to say, so $25 for the run, that's, a great, that, that, that's oh, pretty typical, that's isn't it? But if someone wanted to donate more, because of the cause, certainly they could do it. Would they give it the same way? Could they uh, add money right through the website? Or yes. is there a better way to do that? You could do it right through. What, when you're registering, there's a spot where you can do make another donation. Here's the 25, but this is what I want to give on top of it to the foundation. Absolutely. And, and you know, just, just a little statistic uh, for you. Uh, the Olive Eisman Hearing Fund, we've just been around for just a couple years. And I'm very proud to say that in just over a little over two years, we've already helped over a couple thousand uh, kids with hearing aids, and you know it's humbling. You know it's not me; it, it's everybody else around. You know you 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 can't do much alone, but together we can do so much more. And um, and and that's what we want to do. You, you see the change 
that is raw in the kids' lives, and it brings a change to yours. And that's why we at the Eisman family, we're very passionate about this. In fact, a lot of people don't know this, but uh, a lot of members of, of the Eisman family also wear hearing aids, including myself. And so someone gave us a chance to be able to hear. And so it's just kind of a, a neat way to pay it forward and help others that are chanting for help. When we last visited, your dad had talked to me a little bit about how really the Osmond brothers were, were started through this effort to raise money for hearing. And I found that very fascinating. I didn't know that. Yeah, it, it's one of those untold stories about the Osmond family. There's a lot of things people don't know about our family. But, uh, but that's true. That's, that's how our family got started, uh, singing and performing so that they could raise money for their two brothers, the oldest brothers that were deaf. Right. And, and that's how they got started, singing and dancing and performing, because they didn't have any money at that time. They lived on a, on a small dairy farm in Ogden, Utah. And, but they were, were able to go out, raise some money, help their deaf brothers, and that's kind of when they took off from there. So. Well, I want to talk a little bit more about uh, the foundation named for your grandmother and about the run and a few more details. Uh, but first, we're going to take a quick uh, break. We'll hear more from Justin and Robin after this quick message from our sponsor, Strata Networks. Strata Networks is proud to bring the first true 4G LTE network to the Uinta Basin. 4G LTE is the most powerful mobile broadband available anywhere in the world. With speeds up to 10 times faster than 3G, you can stay connected like never before. Video chat without delay. Stream HDTV or movies in an instant and download or upload in seconds. For details, visit us in Roosevelt or Vernal or call 622-5007. More speed, more power. 4G LTE, only from Strata Networks. Welcome back to Local Point. We're here talking with Justin Osmond and Robin O'Driscoll, a.k.a. Donnie and Marie today, right? We took on these titles. Live <laughs> country and rock and We've been talking about the, uh, the, the uh, Hear Us Roar, uh, run, walk, ride your motorcycle, uh, all of those uh, combined. And I want to just start this segment by hitting one more time on the, the big details. When, where, how much, how do we register, that kind of thing. Do you want to take that, Robin? Saturday, May 4th, the run begins, the run walk begins at 9 a.m. There's three ways they can register. They can go to the runforhearing.com website and they can register there online. They can go to our website at uinterrecreation.org and there's a link to the, hear us, to the run for hearing so they can register that way or they can come into the community center and pick up a registration form. All right. At $25 and, and, and that the, includes a shirt. I was going to say is that, yes. that I, I remember those cool shirts last year. I mean it wasn't an ordinary t-shirt it was a really nice. They're called a uh, tech tech shirt. Kind of a lightweight. Yeah so it uh, breathes a little bit. Yeah almost like a, a silky feel but it, yeah. it, 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 it's like a you can breathe in yeah, them almost. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah no ordinary shirt here. They've really gone for the good one. Plus it's got this cool uh, uh, hear us roar uh, logo on it. I love it. So we've got that as well. Now, can, we we talked in the first segment a little bit about uh, the foundation name for your grandmother. Uh, I've been to that website before, and I think it, it seems to me that you had links to some, uh, many of the local uh, events and runs. Could we also find it from the foundation website? Absolutely, yes. Um, and thank you. It's uh, oliveosman.org. And Olive Eisman is the matriarch of the, of the Eisman family. This, mm -hmm. this foundation was established in honor of her for the wonderful legacy that she established to help children all around the world. Mm -hmm. And yes, there, if you go there, oliveisman.org, you can see all the events that we do. We do them all across the country. In fact, we do them all across the world. And so we just happened to come here to the Winter Basin. And uh, found a little love from the community. <laughs> Absolutely, brought a little love from the Osmond family, <laughs> and working with wonderful people like Marie. Um, <laughs> you know, the the community center. Like I said, it, it, it's just the state of the art. It, it couldn't have found a better location to hold this event. Right. And last year it was just perfect. The the route, the five k run, which is perfect. Will it be the same? It will. The route will be the same. The route will be the same. Better. That's right. And the fun kids run. Is how, how, how long did the, the fun kids run? It's about, about a, third of a, a third of a mile. So they just run around the building on the trail. And that's the one I run. <laughs> Good. <laughs> no, I think you ran Anyone? the other one last yeah. year. <laughs> but uh, it's it, great. All the kids love it. That, and all the kids get a medal. 
and they're all a winner. Mrs. Utah was there with it, and all the kids That's loved right. her, meeting her. She's a celebrity. She's a great advocate for what we're trying to promote for hearing health awareness, and she's even asked if she could come again. So uh, oh, we, she'll, we shall be back then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Yeah, and then again, you know, I think we all need to remember why we're here, and that is because we're helping local children with the gift of sound, the gift of hearing. And, you know, Chris, just, just imagine life without sound. You know, you're in the music business yourself, and, you know, just imagine if all that music was, was gone. And a lot of these kids live in a world void of sound. And so to be able to go in and restore that hearing, basically reunite their family, their family, their, their friends and their loved ones through the gift of music, the gift of uh, sound and hearing. And so it's fun to watch that. When we give these little kids hearing aids, it, it really does. And when they hear their mom's voice when they say, I love you, it, it's life changing. Wow. And, uh, and that's, why, that's why we're doing this. Yeah. And we know, we know it works. And we know that we're making a difference with wonderful people like Marie. <laughs> uh, Robin, right? Well, that's what I uh, that's what I love about you, Justin, is your enthusiasm and your passion for the whole the whole uh, project and the event. And you love this. You, I, I see you everywhere, not here, but in the paper and all over the place. You, you really care about this. I know it's uh, it's your life. Yeah, thank you. I know, I have to give a lot of credit to my grandmother Olive again. She once told me. She said, "You know, Justin, it's amazing what you can accomplish." when nobody takes the credit. Right. And I believe that. I believe right. that with all my heart. And I'm happy to play a small part. But really, the people that make the difference is, I have a wonderful team, I have a wonderful staff, I have wonderful volunteers, wonderful sponsors, and people that participate to make this happen. Mm -hmm. And I've always believed that, you know, we can't do much alone, but together, we can do so much more. That is so true. Mm -hmm. That is so true. Well, this is one of the reasons I love the website, uh, the Olive, Olive uh, Osmond, what is it? All of Osmond All of Osmond org. org. I love that website because it talks a lot about the foundation and then you see the photos and the widespread so we get the the local but the, it's it's really a, a very big thing. Yeah, it, you know like I said Chris it's we're just trying to make a difference um, and, and even though it may be in a small way it makes a, a drastic difference in such a big way. It really does. And um, so you know come join us come to the run and the more people we can get there, the more children we can help. The more who can be helped. And, and also, we should add that people can donate on top of the $25 fee, and we'd love to see that. We'd love to see uh, uh, our very generous community show you what we can do. Well, I tell you what, last year you, you already proved what you can do, and, uh, and that's why we're coming back, is because uh, people, I find a lot of people are actually seeking for an opportunity to be of service to their community. And um, it's pretty exciting to see that. And, but I find that, that, that the spirit of humanity, of humanitarian and philanthropy, is very big in this valley. Yeah. And um, I love that. I'm, I'm drawn to that. I'm attracted to that. I say we keep bringing them back yeah, here again. Absolutely. It's a wonderful cause, and these are wonderful people. Thank you, Justin and Robin, for representing the, uh, the organization and the run. And thank you for watching today's show. That's all for now. Please join us next time right here on VTV Channel 6.